we are live what's up everybody hope all is well happy tuesday tonight's lesson is going to be on investing in etf mainly one so you can google all of them there's so many to pick from warren buffett always says do uh the spy can't go wrong but i'm just going to focus on just one and overall teach you how i found it what's the point of it the whole nine yards on this etf the rest of the stuff you guys can already google i'm not going to go into that so that's what i'm going to break down so let's get it started welcome to the show so let's go good to be back let's break this down so now this is the spy right so the topic again tonight is no one's going to see that one let's make this white the best let's go back ETF. So this might be something that you're saying the best ETF. Hold on a second. What, what do you mean? There's so many to pick from. I agree. You got inverse ETFs, the opposite of the main ETF, which we're going to talk about in a second. But let's get people on. What's up, everybody? There we go. We're already asking what happened to the IG. I'm just going to ignore those comments for the rest of the month. I'm really going to ignore. It. All right, let me just post this on Twitter. Then we'll get the lesson started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I am live on YouTube, everybody. Come jump in. The best ETFs. You already see behind me what's going on. Look at those candles. Let's go jump in right now. Let's make it happen. What's up, everybody? JB Halil, Professor Aldwell, looking forward to the seminar next month. I, I'm excited to see you too. Miss Veronica Abrams coming all the way from Mexico. What's up, Sal? Good to see you guys. Eric, what's up? What's up? Guys, do me a favor. I'm not going to deal with all those messages about where's my IG, where's my IG. I'm not dealing with them. So I'm ignore it. You can ignore it too. I'm not dealing with that all night long. All right, let me just post this and let's go, let's go live now on YouTube. Give me two seconds, everybody. Talk to yourselves in the comments and boom, drop that there. Let's drop the link and then we can start the lesson. Let's go. Does it say I'm live? Yep, there it is. It says I'm live. Share, copy. By the way, what do you guys want to learn next week? Tell me what you want to learn next week. Let me know what you want to learn next week. There, everybody is. What's up? What's up? Looking sharp as always. Appreciate you, Sal. Good to see you, the GOAT. Thank you, Bodega. Hello. What's up, Maymuna? Yo, yo, yo. By the way, shout out to Maymuna right there. If you see her name, it's a picture. I can't tell what that picture is. This lesson is dedicated to her. She messaged me saying, Professor, again, it's my seminar students, my mentorship students who I do everything for. So she messaged me. She's like, Professor, what do you think the best ETFs are to invest in? I'm like, you know what? I've never done a live like this. I've done a crypto investment live, a crypto swing trade live, never really a stock one. And there's no better time to do it than now because the market bloodshed across the board. So let's talk about that, right? Again, towards the end of the live, even though the lesson is the best ETF, I will go over crypto at the end, but let's look at the SPY overall. So let's go. What's up, people? Professor, I didn't go to school because I couldn't miss this. Wow, that's crazy. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right, let's get it started. Let's get it started. What's up, everybody? Good to see everyone. It's good. I like this small. What's up, Michelle, Steven, Gary, Mark? What's up, Ronnie? It's good to see and have a nice, nice small classroom. Like, I like this. Like, I like this. I'm going to enjoy doing this on YouTube until I'm back on IG. All right, let's go. Where's my marker? So let's get the conversation started, right? The lesson is the best ETF. I'm not going to, I'm going to summarize this again. There are so many to pick from. Inverse, the regular, a basket. I'm not going into all of them. I'm just going to pick one teach you why I picked it, go over why it's, a, why it's a key one, and then you guys, if you don't like it, that's fine. Go find whatever you like. I'm just going to explain how I found it. You can go figure it out yourself later. I'm not doing that, so I'm not going to do that. So boom, I'm just going to go over what I'm going to tell you. You can do the homework yourself later, boom. Because here's the thing, right? I can sit here and tell you 20, 30 different ETFs that you can put your money on, the whole nine yards. That's a waste of your time. You're gonna get distracted. Your mind will wander off. Focus on one. By the way, shout out to everybody watching this on the smart TVs. You can link this up on there. So boom, let's go. Let's talk about this. So before we talk about an ETF, and again, I'm not talking about an inverse ETF. I already did that lesson. By the way, is this sound good? Is this sound good, everyone? Let me know. Is this sound good? Boom, boom, boom. Because I know last time I always forget to plug in the microphone. Just give me a check on the microphone. All right, so let's go. Best ETF. All right, let's get rid of that. So as you see behind me is the SPY. Let's, let me just expand. Here we go. So what you see behind me, let 
S P Y E T F. And ETF basically is a basket of companies all in one. So if you, I'm not, again, if it's Googleable, I'm not doing it. You can Google it. Sound is good? All right, cool. Thank you guys. Again, I want you to understand if there's someone watching this saying, but what did this mean? What if it could be Googled? You're, you're in the wrong place. I'm, I'm not here for that. I'm here to explain stuff that Google won't be able to explain for you. I want you to remember that. When my students in class are always Googling stuff, they're like, but professor, we don't know what you're talking about. It's not in Google. Exactly. So for those that are going to be like, what about this? What about that? If it's Googleable, go do that. I'm not touching on that. I'm just getting straight to the meat of the conversation. So an ETF basically is a basket of companies. Instead of investing in Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, whatever, whatever, you can just invest in the ETF, which will have a whole bunch of those companies right there for you. So there you go. Simple. So now you got the SPY ETF, and this is the one that Warren Buffett loves. Warren loves talking about this. He goes, if you don't know how to do anything, invest, don't trade, all that. Just put your money in the SPY ETF, and it'll go up. And he's not wrong. I'll show you the chart historically. Historically, the market only goes up, which we'll talk about in a second. But before we start that, let's just look at the SPY overall. From its highs, it has just had bloodshed across the board. Is the rally, you know, we, we, we've been rallying. Let's look at this, right? Let's go into this further. Let's micro in a little more. We have been, this is the day, again, the, what a horrible handwriting. This is the SPY daily. We have been on a bloodshed across the board. Bloodshed across the board. So for example, let's do, we'll start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We've had 25 red days. And we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven green. We are not out of the woods yet. We are not, I know I've been I've been getting messages on Twitter, not as many. Praise the praise, praise God. Not that <laughs> even though I've hired someone to deal with it. Even though I've hired someone to deal with it, she'll be working at the end of the month. I'll be back on IG at the end of the month. But point being, people are like, Professor, are we out? Is that it? Rally? I'm like, we got two good days. You all, That's it? You think we're good? The, the bear market is over? Bullish all the way? Everyone, like everyone relax. We got to look at the bigger picture here. I'm shocked. Like I'm more active now on Twitter because I see the feed. So I'm seeing everyone saying, yes, the market's rallying. We're good to go. I'm not saying the market's rallying. I'm not saying it's not. All I'm saying is we are still <laughs> we are still bloodshed across the board. Yes, we finally had some relief. We finally had a chance to breathe because we were suffering for so long. Let's see what happens. We had a phenomenal day, man. PLTR was gorgeous. Guys, no questions. Sal, not right now. Don't start. Sal, don't start with the questions. Let me teach first. Guys, just listen, listen to the learning and then we'll do the questions at the end, at the end, at the end, at the end. So again, we'll look, I see you, Matt. I see you. We'll look at the weekly, monthly MACD. I got you. I'll do that. I'll do, I'll do that, Sal. I mean, uh, Matt, I got you. Good to see you, Matt, by the way. Good to see you. So point being, we're still in bloodshed across the board. That's like this. I'll give you an example for you to understand what people on Twitter are saying because I'm not on IG. I don't know what's going on over there. It's like your account is down 80% over the past six months. You saw for the past two days, you've been up 10%. Oh my God, everything is great. What? This is why I like scalp trading. This is why I like scalp trading is because it doesn't matter to me. By the way, shout out to Trade Zero. Oh my God, what a great brokerage. The way it's able to, you can short on it. I can literally buy my short position, meaning the shares to short, hold them, know how many I have, and then execute. With Weeble, you don't even know. It's like a freaking a blank shoot. You don't know how many shares they might have. Trade Zero, again, link in the bio. You can go check that out. I love Trade Zero. I've been using that. I've been, my new thing is not more than $100,000. That's my new thing. Until the market is in a full bull run, I am nothing more than 100K. That's the most, usually $300,000, $400,000, $100,000. Nothing more. Nothing more. He's about to turn off the comments. If you guys, yo, I don't know how to, go cool. I don't know how to shut the comments off. If someone can Google it for me and tell me, I would love to. I tried to figure it out, but they don't. I don't know how to shut off live comments. But point being, let's go back to the conversation at hand. 
We just had two days of a rally. Just two days. Everyone take it easy. We're not out the woods yet. There's still bloodshed across the board. People thought the same thing here. People thought the same thing here. We are still overall downtrending. This is normal. This is perfectly normal. Boom. All right. So let me go back to now what Warren talks about. Warren says the best ETF to invest in. Let's go. Uh, let's go to monthly. Which, uh, by the way, I agree with Warren on this. Is the SPY. Historically speaking, historically speaking, as you can see, the SPY just goes up. My God. I bang my feet on this thing all the damn time. Historically speaking, the SPY goes up, as you can see. So, Maimuna, when you were asking me, you can't go wrong with the SPY. But... I'm going to give you a better ETF that I think is going to be good. Guys, drop in the comment section. What ETF do you think I'm going to bring up? What ETF are you invested in? So let's start the conversation two part. What ETF do you think I'm about to talk about? I'm only going to talk about one. It ain't the SPY. It ain't the SPY. And it's not an inverse ETF. Drop it. Let's go. Let me see. I want to see what you guys are going to talk about. Let's see what you guys are going to talk about. Come on. Let me see. Oh, I like how nice and quiet it is. Like I, still, I love it. A few people watching. Guys, why are the views so little? Nope, not SQQQ, not an inverse ETF. No, 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 no. Not an SQQQ. Nora says QQQ. Nora hasn't watched. Nora wasn't watching Close Friends. Nora wasn't watching Close Friends. Matt says QQQ. Bobna says TQQQ. Sal says TQQ. Raymond says SCHD. No VOO. No Vanguard. No. Matic, Matic is a crypto coin. I said, tonight is just a stock conversation, boys and girls. You will say the Dow Jones. Nope, Atif. What's up, Atif? QQQ, QQQ, QQQ. Interesting. Interesting. That's it? Come on. What else? BTI? No. He, Charlemagne keeps saying Matic. I don't know why, but okay. Junior. Oh, Junior. Thank you, baby boy. I got it. I got it. Thank you so much for dropping it off. You the man. You are the man. You saved me, bro. It would have been a problem without that. TQQQ, TQQ, TQQQ. Yo, Goku Dragon Ball. What's your real name or what's your IG, bro? I want to know who you are. I like when... Uh, you are pro, USA, TQ, TQQ, PLTR. PLTR is not a ETF. Okay. And All right, cool. So let's do it. So the ETF, before I drop it, before I drop it, Here's the thing, and I'm going to ask this question to you guys. What Number one, are you invested in any ETFs? If so, which ones? Let's go. I want to, I want to know what you, my audience is doing right now. Like, what do they have? ARK. God, no, Atif. God, no. Did you really just say ARK? I knew Kathy Woods was no good when she bought Coinbase at the IPO price. I looked at the report at what she was buying. I'm like, we're both economists. We're both similar fields. She's out of her mind. She don't know what she's doing. I knew the second I saw that, but I don't like commenting publicly because I know people are in love with it, in love with her, but not me. The VIX? No. No. Spy. Okay, Francisco. What's up, baby boy? Spy. Okay, you guys have some spy. None, none, none. Okay. I like that. A lot of nuns. That means tonight I'm going to get you into one. Okay. Okay, spy. Okay, good. SPX invested in spy and TQ. Nice, Al. Yes, Matna. I don't know who that is. Just start last month's spy. All right, so we got a lot of spy, and the, a lot of people said none. All right, cool. All right, cool. So now, I'm done with this. Oh, how about this, Matt? I'll pull up the MACD RSI for the spy later. You know what? I can talk about it now. But let me finish. So the ETF that I'm going to talk about is, number one, you know that the market is not collapsing. It's not going to be gone tomorrow. Just like some people's like, oh... That's it. The market's over. Those people have lost so much money. They've lost hope in the market. So that's a different conversation. But the point I want you to know is if you know in your heart and believe that the market is going to rally one day, I believe next year, we'll, we'll be back to a full rally. That's what I believe in. If you know for that as a fact, why would you not be invested in an um, a ETF? Why would you not be invested in something that is leveraged ETF, a leveraged ETF? Meaning, if the original ETF moves up one, two, three, whatever, this thing moves up double, triple what it moves up. Why would you not be in those things? So you can maximize your money because if you've lost a lot now, 
you're able to make back a lot of it when the market rallies. So let's talk about it, right? So let's get into this conversation. Number one, before you invest in something long term, understand the risks that go into investing long term. Could the market fall more? Of course. Could the market rally? It could. Anything could happen. But what you need to understand is when the word invest comes up, you have to be comfortable with putting money into this, knowing that if it falls more, it's okay. You have to be comfortable knowing that you know what your entry is, what your exit is, your stop loss is, or no matter what. You have to know these things, which I'm going to give you. So I will give you that. I will give you that. So boom, 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 boom. So now, as you can see, let's just talk about this right now, right? On the monthly time frame, again, I'm still on the SPY. Now I'm on the monthly. I'm just going to use a SPY as a guideline. As you can see, it is holding. We have officially started holding for the past one, two, three, four, five months. We've been holding at this level right here. This is a good sign. That actually is very good that we're still holding on the higher time frame. Boom. Because remember, the higher time frame dictates everything else. So let's look at it. Because before we invest, we have to be like, do we have any more room to fall? There's always room to fall. This conversation should always come up. No, it can't fall any further. If anything, this market's told you, everything could fall much further. A lot of stocks are at IPO lows or even below IPO lows. Remember that. All right, let's pull it up. All right, we got the RSI, we got the MACD. So Matt, what was on your mind, Matt? What was on your mind? Let's go. What was on your mind? So as you can see, the RSI looks like it has more room to fall. MACD, as you can see, the sellers are still running the show and we are still headed down towards the zero point histogram. If you don't know what any of that means, the link in the bio, how to be a consistent trader, I break down how to read RSI, MACD, all of that stuff in the book, in the book, in the book. For those asking for the audio version when the fifth edition comes out, um, February, I'm gonna leave for Iceland. Why did I just let that slip? Damn, I shouldn't have said the month. It's too late now, but I'm not going to repeat it. Maybe no one's paying attention. Um, I'm leaving for Iceland two months after the book releases publicly. I'm going to go and do the audio version. I can't get anything done in New York. I have to like get out of the country and feel relaxed, get a cabin, live by the mountains, and just r audio trade, audio record like this, right? Uh, what do you guys think? Let me ask your advice. It'll be like this. Let me, let me do an audio book version right now. What do you guys think of this? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do it. The 20 thoughts your mind has before, during, and after a trade. Your reality, by the way, if you're on this page, go to this page. Go to this page. Let's do an audio version right now. Let's do an audio version right now. Let's go. What do you guys think? Because the fifth edition is out already, but the audio version is not out. So boom, let's do it. Let me, let me, let, let, tell me what you guys think. I'm going to do my real voice and then I'm going to do my reading voice. The 20 thoughts your mind has before, during, and after a trade. Your reality is created by you. You decide how the candles make you feel. You hold the power. That's my regular voice. That's my regular voice. All right? So now this, is, this will be my reading voice. <laughs> the 20 thoughts your mind has before, during, and after a trade. Your reality is created by you. You decide how the candles make you feel. You hold the power. What do you guys think? The real voice or my reading voice? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm waiting on that book. If you're a mentorship student, you would have the book already. You're too funny. I appreciate you, Sal. Miss Veronica Abrams is laughing over there in Mexico. Eric, everyone hit that like button. I appreciate you, Eric. Guys, there's 80 people watching. 31 likes. I don't know. Nah, regular. Woot, woot, woot. Reading voice. Love the reading voice. Voice coach. Regular. Reading voice. Reading voice. Was deeper. No, yeah, it was deeper, Veronica. It's... When you sit down and look at charts, learning price action, figuring out which indicators you should use, and trying to see what time frame works best, your mind wrecks havoc on you. Boom. Lord, please do regular. <laughs> Renee. <laughs> if Renee says do regular, I'm doing regular. That's it. Conversation's over. If there's one person that I trust and her opinion, because I know Renee will always tell it to me how it is. I shout out to you, Renee. All right, Renee, you got it. So regular voice. 
You don't know what you're doing. Just stop it. This stock will go up. Just watch. This stock can't go any lower. Don't exit the trade. By the way, this is one of my favorite chapters right here. Link in the bio. Get the book. It, I love it. These quotes that your mind has. This should be on your wall. This should be on your wall. Diana. Professor, we missed you. I'm here, baby girl. I'm here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Back to the lesson. Back to the lesson. Got to have some fun. For those that are going to say, yo, get a, stop going off tangent, you can unfollow. Get off the live. It's a free lesson. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I don't have the headache of the IG. I feel free. I'm having a good time. All right, boom. All right, back to the lesson. Let's go. Let's get serious. All right. So point being, monthly, we still have room to fall. Monthly speaking. But price action is king. And we are holding, like I said. We are holding. But super bearish. So, let, me, let me zoom in. No wick on the top, wick at the bottom, big body. That means it doesn't look good right now. So boom. All right, so let's look at the weekly time frame for this buy. As you can see, we are still, let me do a legit downtrend line, a legit one. As you can see, we are still on a downtrend line. You have to understand something very clearly. It's not what the news says. It's not what Twitter says. It's not what um, whatever says. Your, your favorite group chat. It's what the charts are saying. We're still on a downtrend line. On the weekly, this looks good. On the weekly, the buyers are coming in. We got a wick on the top and at the bottom. But at the same time, remember, we've had bloodshed across the board. If it rallies, it rallies. But we still are still in a downtrend. We're not doing any better. Remember that. All right, so now I'm done with this conversation. So now let me mention the ticker that I feel like is one of my favorites. And I've talked about it in my uh, Instagram close friends. I've mentioned it to them. I gave them my levels. I gave them how much I'm putting in. Um, so boom. So let's go. The ticker is... The TQQQ. Let me get rid of my levels. I'll give you that at the end, maybe. Listen, if we get 100 likes, I'll give you all my levels for the TQQQ. I only got 41 likes right now. If I get 100 likes tonight, tonight, you will get the professor's levels for the TQQQ for your investment, for your swing trade portfolio. Let's see. I only got 41. I only got 41. So boom. So I don't think you're getting the levels tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Baby boys and girls, boom. All right. The reason why I said the TQQQ is number one. Let's go to the. Let's start with the QQQ. Let's start with the QQQ. Let's go to the higher time frame. All right. Let's go. So this is. The Q, Q, Q. On the monthly. Here's the question. Here is the question. Historically, just I use the SPY as an example because I talk about it all the damn time. And I never really talk about the QQQ. Again, you can Google it if you want to learn everything about the QQQ. This is not the lesson for it. If Google can do it again, that's a waste of my time. I don't want you sitting here, learn, just Google if you want to. But point being, historically, where does it go up? Historically, where does it go up? Where? Historically, it just goes up, up, up. And as of now, it has paused. It has also paused. Could it fall more? Yes. Understand that. I want you to keep that in mind always. It can always fall more. I am doing this lesson. Number one, shout out to Maymuna. She was the one that DM'd me about it and said, Professor, what do you think? I'm like, you know what? Let me do a lesson about it. Boom. So that's number one. And number two, one of the other motivational reasons I'm doing it is because the market has fallen so much. Who says you can buy up a little bit? So let's talk about this. So this is a QQQ. It's $282. But Professor, that's too expensive. Boom. I, I, I got you. 
I understand. I know what everyone's going to say. I can't afford that. That's too expensive. So you would type in TQQQ. This is the leverage. Oh, let me show you. I'll pull it up right here. This is the leveraged version of it. So now let's let me show you. By the way, it's only $22.58. All right. So let me show you this. Let's get rid of that. Let's expand. Historically, again, TQQ. I'm on the monthly still. Historically, it has only gone up. It's gone down. It's gone down. Right now, of course, because the market is where it is. Look at that. If you don't think that's a buying opportunity of a lifetime, you're out of your mind. Watch this. Watch this. All my levels showed up. Okay, 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 I gotta hide him, I gotta hide him. The high was $91 and the low was $8. Remember this, 91.8. And I know for a fact that you know the QQQ is not going anywhere. The T, uh, TQQQ is not going anywhere. Remember these things. So if the QQQ moves up a little bit, this bad boy moves up three times that. So there you go. Keep that in mind about this right now. It's right now it's, it's 22 bucks. Could it fall more? Of course. Am I buying right now? No. So I, I actually, I slipped it out. So it, it is what it is. I can't take it back now, but I was going to keep that a secret only into my close friends, my mentorship students, but I am looking into buying just roughly a hundred thousand dollars worth of it and selling it at $90. So a hundred thousand, just a little bit, whatever. So my new system with trading is the minute I get over a hundred K profits, I just keep putting the profits away, putting the profits away. That's my new thing that I'm doing. I did something similar to that where I pay myself every Friday, a certain amount. But now I'm like, if it, I'm nothing more than a hundred thousand, I refuse to let until we get into a bull market and then I'm going to load right back up. But as of now, I'm playing it safe risk management. I'm not giving back my profits. So that's what, that's what I'm doing. So now point being 22 bucks, low eight bucks, the high 91 bucks. So let's talk about this, right? This is the monthly time frame. RSI has a little bit more room to fall. MACD, we are starting to, we are below the zero point histogram, but one of the good signs I see, we are fairly leveled out. If you don't know what this means, the chapter in the book, I'm not going over that tonight. The chapter in the book talks about that. Boom. Matt says, what about leaps on TQQ? Could do, uh, Matt, you know, baby boy, I don't do options. I can't comment on that. Remember, I only talk about what I know. That's it. If I don't know it, I will never sit here and pretend like I know what the hell that is. Boom. So I don't know, but you would know, Matt. You would know. You would know. I, I don't know. So point being, we are settling down right here at this $20 level. We are, let's go to the weekly time frame. Are we still downtrending? Yes. What level am I really looking forward to? Again, I only got 68 likes, so I don't know. Until I hit 100, we're not talking about it right now. We're not talking about it right now. I'm gonna give you the, if I don't hit 100, we're not going over the levels. But the point being, <laughs> but the point being, we are at a good point right now. We are at a good point right now. Let's see what the weekly uh, RSI says. It is at a good 30. We all build a zero point histogram, but as you notice, as we go sideways here, we're also going sideways here and we're going sideways here. We're going sideways across the board. Anything could happen. You know, North Korea launching a missile or something and Japan telling their people to get into the bunkers. Russia, uh, what the news said was 
Um, they saw the nuclear bomb. What is it? The nuclear train. Who knows what's going on? But if we hear a nuke go off anywhere or these type of things, that is the last stand. Bitcoin will collapse to 12,000. It will lose that $18,000, $17,000 level in the heartbeat. Go to 12,000, the market will officially drop like it's never dropped before. So boom, 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 boom. Only if I could hit the like button twice. I like that. Come on, guys. Like. All right. So that's my piece on this. Let's go to the daily time frame. Like I said, don't get too excited. I, again, the chart is going to speak for itself. The chart is going to answer all the questions. We're not going to get too excited here. Out of the entire time frame here, we have had one, three, four. So three, one, one, three, four, five good times. And this is in, in weeks and weeks, only five. So don't think that just because we had this massive rally today that it's all good. Remember, remember, remember. If people get squeamish about the movement on TQQ, you can do QLD, which is twice, and it's a lot more steady. Yeah, there's one, you know, the regular 1x, then the 2x, the 3x, boom. But I, how many booms to see the levels, boom, boom. <laughs> Listen, we only have 79 likes, but 101 people watching. It's on everybody else. It's on everybody else. All I'm saying is I'm, I'm stressing this. I'm stressing this. I'm stressing this. I'm stressing this. I don't want anyone be going and be like, Professor, I bought so much of it tomorrow when the market opens. Yay. We're out of the woods. We're good. How short is our attention span? How bad is our memory that we completely forget? That we we're still not looking good on the bigger scale. We're not looking so good. Remember that we can't. We can't become so bullish immediately. Again, it's okay to become, be bullish overall because the market does overall go up. But we do have to be realistic here. Like I like to short. I like going long and shorting. I've been going long on PLTR for my scalps and then shorting on my scalps. Nice and quick movements. So we have to be able to manage both of that in this kind of market. So keep that in mind. I, I want to really stress that because the lesson is about investing in the ETF. But understand that we're still in the bear market. All right. So now... Let me touch on this for a second. If you want to scalp TQQQ, because I'm going to talk about that too. If you are a new trader, it moves up roughly a dollar. So if you're a new trader and you want to learn the ins and outs, TQQQ is fine as well for new traders to be able to trade gentle movers. That's something I teach. I want new traders for the ones coming to the November mentorship Remember that these type of tickers can be your best friend. As you can see, let's for example look at today. No, today didn't have well, today wasn't much, but let's look at yesterday. Yesterday this thing went from 1936 to 21. Gentle mover. And TQQQ also. This is the thing I need you to understand. This is why, again, many reasons why I like it. Let me do it here. Hold up, hold up. Let me do it here. What the hell? I loaded this already. All right, here we go. All right, let's do it here. Sacre bleu. Mother.
For something to fall under something that I like, a stock, a crypto, it must do have this checklist right here. It must. Respect support resistance very well. For example, if you make support resistance lines, they will work out to the best on this. Trend lines works out really well on this. When it comes to the indicators, the RSI, the MACD, the 200 EMA, and the VWAP, it works really nice. So this could be your scalp if you're a new trader. I don't scalp TQQQ. I prefer to scalp SQQQ when the market falls down and I want like a fast mover and it's at my key level of support. But T again, if you're slow, T SQQQ is not for someone who's new. It moves way too fast. But at the end of the day, this is perfectly fine. And one of the key reasons I'm bringing it up tonight is this right here. It has fallen considerably from its high of $91. Considerably. Again, that doesn't mean it can't fall lower. Right now, it's it's 21 bucks. Right now, it's 21 bucks. That's a massive fall for something like this. Just keep that in mind. You have to be comfortable. For example, if I'm telling you, I'll give, I'm not I'm at 85 likes, so I'm not giving you my levels. I'm not giving you my levels. Boom. So point being, I want you to understand where the key levels are before you buy. You want to buy at the key levels a little bit. I'm not saying put in everything tomorrow. You want to put in a little bit at a key level because if it falls more, you have some ammo. You can put it in, reload, shoot more, buy a little bit more, buy a little bit more because at the end of the day, this is the question I'm going to ask now. When investing, give it to me. Let's go. What is in when you invest? What is the number one question you ask? What is the number one question you ask yourself before you invest? Let's go. Until you guys do that, I'm going to do some audio books because I'm going to, I have to get ready when I'll be in Iceland in my cabin, I'm going to be doing this because you people ask for it. I'll do it to understand the present and the future. You must understand the past. Imagine if you will, a reality in which you truly control your life. No limitations to anything. You can have anything you desire. What would you do for that reality? What if I told you that reality is possible, but it starts with you giving up all your worldly desires and time and focusing on everything I've written in this book? Are you up for that challenge? If not, don't bother reading any further. But if you're ready for that challenge, go forth and forget all you've known or heard about the market. Be a clean slate. Fill your mind with my strategy and become one with what I believe in. Because what I believe in is consistency. Boom. All right. What? All right. Raymond. What's up, Raymond? What is the most I can lose? What is my goal in investing? How long do I plan to hold? How long do I plan on being in this trade? Yusuf is laughing. What's the drawdown? Yes, I want the audiobook. Uh, there's no audiobook right now, baby boy. Uh, Adrian, I said this already. I will be leaving for Iceland. Um, I'm not saying the month. I accidentally said it already, but I'm not saying it. I'm going to leave after the physical book comes out. The book, the book is already out for my mentorship students, the fifth edition. But when it's publicly out, I'm going to wait two months. Let's see what everyone's going to say. And then fly to Iceland and go write, and go do the audio book while I see nature. I can't, I, I've, I've noticed. I, I now I see why Ernest, Ernest Hemingway, why he wrote his great English novels. He left his hometown. I see why. I am so more mentally creative when I'm outside of New York, when I leave America. Well, really New York. So Iceland, I love Iceland. I was there a couple of years ago. I love Iceland. I can't wait to go back. All right. Do I know what I'm investing in? Am I okay losing my investment? Is this money I don't need? Is this investment a good deal? What would the professor invest in this? <laughs> would the professor... 
<laughs> Evelyn, I appreciate you with the professor. I like that. Has action been made or are they just selling dreams and plans? What's my risk? First thing I check is how do I feel mentally? Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, the, the question you ask is, who got that? Raymond got it. I want someone to tell me why is this because today again is an investment live. It's a conversation about investing. We're not talking about scalp trading. I touched based on it, of course, but the overall theme of tonight is investing. So the question is, why are you asking yourself this? Why answer that while you guys answer that I'm going to read more chapters out of my book. I'm going to read more chapters out of the book. What do I want to read? Ooh. All right, if someone's following along, I'm, I'm going to read this chapter for you. Fear of missing out, how to truly overcome it. Your peace of mind is worth more than any of your stock profits. Keep that in mind. Yo, that's powerful. By the way, I created all the quotes on the top. I created those on the top of my head, just so you know. Boom, 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 boom. The mother of all sins that will ruin your stock profits is FOMO, the fear of missing out. Why is that an issue? It's an issue because it puts you in a false reality about a trade that you think you missed out on. Only if you were on the computer at that very moment, this will lead to depression, sadness, anger, and resentment. Boom. Let's see. Uh, where did I leave off on? The first thing I checked, I read that. Magri uh, Michelle says I agree. Michelle, are you the Michelle from Brooklyn? Just dropped the bomb. Okay, I read that. Is this short terminal? I read that. What's my potential? Okay, I read that. Most important is translate the book to several languages. Sergio, that's, listen, I'm going to talk about that later. I, I was going to do that. I was going to translate into multiple languages, but this is the headache you have to understand from me. I am not a businessman. I don't have the headache or the patience for the nonsense. Yes, I pay people to deal with it. Here's the thing. With the fifth edition, I created and designed a t-shirt with my school's logo on it. It's fire. It's a black t-shirt, everything. I was going to give it away for free. I don't need the money. Here's the issue. I remember I was in Bali talking to the, uh, the warehouse. They were ready to, I was ready to hit the invoice for, to send the payment to them. It hit me. Oh no. People, even though it's free, welcome to my world. People would be like, it's not my size. Can you please send me a size that fits? I, I, it hit me. I'm like, oh shit. I'm not dealing with that. Even if it's free, bro, I get so many complaints about the free book. They're like, yo, your book didn't download because people, I'm not getting into that. I'm going to clear my mind. I'm trying to be better now. I'm not going to get into that. But so there's no free book. I mean, free t-shirt because of that, because of these people that complain about everything. I was going to translate it into Spanish, French, um, Portuguese, Hebrew, Arabic. Here's the problem. Somebody will accidentally buy a Spanish version, wanting the English version. Guess what? Say, uh, you, uh, you sent me the wrong book. Please send me a refund or give me the book. I'm not dealing with it. So I don't know how I'm going to play that out. But boom. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, how much you're willing to lose? Professor, you're reading voices like ASMR. I have to drink double espresso. <laughs> no guarantee when investing because there's no guarantee. We, see, we can see Bitcoin. Oh, my God. We let the investment run. You have to risk in order to win. You can lose it all and not be bothered by it. Yes. Oh, it is Brooklyn, Michelle. Nice to see you, Michelle. Because we shouldn't be investing money that we will still need. Risk tolerance. Because you need to have a plan before you enter. Where is your stop loss? Yes. You can focus more with your audiobook. You can focus. I, I, I'm i going to do it, Julian. When I'm in Iceland. Not right now. Sir from Colorado. What's up, guy? Uh, can we see Bitcoin? Fed. No. This is, a, this is a stock live. No Bitcoin. Please stop asking. Seven more likes. Woo, seven more likes. Don't complain, people. This man is the best teacher out there. Thank you, Sal. Stay positive, professor. Only uh, give teacher to seminar students. Valid, that's true. But the problem is, remember, it's about quantity. If I only order a little bit, the shirts cost a lot of money. If I, if I order a lot, they call, cost less. The price just exacerbates. That's another issue. With shipping, woo. 
Shipping prices are doubling. UPS, USPS says over Christmas holiday. They're going to double the price of shipping. There goes that. Uh, hey, from Brunei, I love your free course. It does help me doing support resistance. I appreciate you. Hit the like button. Did you turn off the mic? No, the mic is on. Did you turn off the mic? No, the mic is on. Can you hear me? Check one, two. It's on. It's lit. It's light up. It's lit up. Green. Green means it's on. That's why I bought this one. Green means on. Wait, I got to confirm. Can you guys hear me? Guys, can we hear me? Let me know so I can continue the lesson. Can you hear me? Yes. Cool. All right. So now this is the question. How much are you willing to lose? This is why. I'm going to tell you why this is the question. You bought here thinking it went sideways. All right, I'm going to make an investment now. We are good. Yes. I, yes, this is good. It stopped falling. Professor said when it goes sideways, we got it. Russia launches a nuke. China invades Taiwan. America declares war. There's, going, there's like proxy wars happening in Ukraine. People are blowing up other people's pipelines and saying, we didn't do it. All of this is going on behind the scenes. And you don't think we're in World War III? Baby boys and girls. Go study all the wars, the big ones. We're literally in it, but no one's admitting we're in World War III. We're in the war. It's just a proxy war. The second you hear that, doo -doo -doo, you're going to see that. Once you see that, now the question back to you is, how much am I willing to lose? Once you see this, if you, are, if you pull up your portfolio and you go, it's okay. You're fine. That means that money you put in there, you didn't need. That's the point. That has to be money that you don't need because you will be like, I'm fine because I know it's going to rally next year or two years from now. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Did we get a hundred likes yet? Hey, we hit a hundred likes, everybody. All right, right. I can give you the levels. I can give you the levels now. Wow, right on time. Right on time. Why y'all late? Guys, Twitter, day trade prof. I said I was going live. D-A-Y trade P-R-O-F. There's a lot of scammers that pretend to be me with like two, three Fs. There's only one F in my name. So boom. All right, I'll give you my levels. I'll give you my levels. I made my support and resistance lines this morning in pre-market analysis, just like your book, Entry and Exit, described, and was able to avoid large losses and take a 5% scalp on SPY. Boom, boom. Yeah, shout out to you, baby boy. Shout out to you. Thank you. I'm glad my book is helping people, bro. If you thought, bro, bro, if you thought the fourth edition was good, you have seen nothing yet. Wait till you see the fifth edition, baby boy. Wait till you see the fifth edition. The fifth edition is, you have no idea. Those quizzes take it to a whole nother level. Do you think it'll happen? I think, I think it will happen. Yes, professor, it may go red now, but I know in the future it will go up. Yes, David, exactly. Don't have enough money to trade stocks, been trading options, I got you. Yes, team, I wish I knew you three years ago. I'm still holding a lot of bags. Diana, it's okay, you know me now. It's okay. Shout out to Diana. She flew in from Florida to see me at the New York event. So now here's the conversation, right? Let's go to weekly. Let's turn on the levels. I will give you the levels. I got you. I know you see them, but I'm going to write them and I'll give you all the levels, okay? I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. If you weren't paying attention, if you weren't paying attention, I highly suggest you pay attention now because I'm about to give you my game plan. All right. I accidentally slipped. 
It was only supposed to be for my mentorship, my close friends on IG, because I told them the whole game plan, but I slipped it. It's too late now, so I might as well. So I might as well. So pay attention. Let's go. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to play out TQQQ to the T. Let's go. All right, here we go. The low is eight bucks, the high is 91 bucks. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna give you the levels later. So don't, I'll give you, I'm a man of my word. We hit 100 likes, I'll give you the levels. As you can see, bloodshed across the board. We just keep falling and falling and falling. We are now stuck. Should I give the levels now? No, I'm, I'm, I gotta finish this conversation. If this, if the market doesn't hold, TQQ, the next level of support right now is the $18 mark. That's a horrible spelling. Come on, brain. We could do better than that. If 18 falls, we're going to 8. If 18 fails, my plan is to buy 100000 at $9. These are just profits from my scalp trades that I don't need, that I just pushed aside and I'm sitting on. It's just, a sh again, it's not a big deal to me. You have to understand, watch my words. This is money I don't care for. You have to understand, I don't own a car. I don't care about Lambos or Ferraris. Praise God, I have everything I've ever wanted. I have it all. So now when I have extra money, I'm just like, what the hell do I do with it? There's nothing I need for it. It pays for my trips. It pays for my expenses. It pays for the publishing of the book. The shipping costs, god damn, you don't even want to know how much it costs to ship a thousand books over, from overseas to New York, port fees. Don't even get me started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into a goddamn lecture. Buying $100,000 worth at $9, selling it at, remember, this is called an investment. There's a different conversation here. At $90. That is a profit. What is that trade? Let's go. Drop it in the comment section. How much would that be worth? Let's see. I know my traders. I know a lot of us can't do math. I know. But how much is that worth? Let's go. How much is that in dollars? At $9, 100000 that is shares, I believe. That's 11,100 shares. How much is that buying at nine, selling at 90? Let's go. Good Lord, a million. Exactly. Exactly. Boom. Get Al Brooks YouTube or website. All right, Thomas. Are you promoting people I don't know? Are you promoting people I don't know? All right, I got to kick this guy out. Bye, buddy. Later, alligator. If I don't know the person, you can't promote them on my show, baby boy. You can't promote them. Someone said 9 million. Y'all are crazy. 1 million. One million. Take out the original investment of 100,000. It becomes a total of 900. Now, there's a reason to this conversation. There's a reason to this conversation right here. No matter if I bought at 18, I could buy at 18. Who says I can't put in 20,000 at 18? Here, this is the conversation I need you to understand now. If I buy 100,000 and if it goes lower, if it goes lower, I'm okay with it. Why? Number one is money I don't need. And number two, I don't mind me waiting one year or two years. I don't care how long it takes to make this. How many of you would complain if you waited? Let's be conservative. Let's say you wait two years. I don't think it's going to take two years for the market to go back. But let's just say two years. Would you complain that 100000 became a million in two years? Tell me in the comment section. Do you think? Do you think you would complain about waiting a year or two? 
Or if it falls from a hundred thousand, like from a nine to eight to seven to six, would you complain? Let me hear it. Say it like you always do. You can't go wrong here, baby boy. No way. Nope. Hell no. Exactly. That's the conversation I need you to understand. You 10 x everything. You 10 x And this is TQQ. This is not a doge. This is not a, a stupid ass penny stock. This is an ETF. The TQQQ. Of course not. Exactly. Hell no. No complaint. That's the conversation. Now, this is the reason why I said that. Number one, before someone says, Professor, why'd you say nine, not eight? If you know my strategy, it's either a penny up or penny down. With scalp trading, with swing trading, it's $1 up, $1 down. Meaning I want to get out, collect my profits before it even hits resistance. That's what I need you to understand. Again, that's what I need you to understand. And now I'm going to go even further into this. Watch this, right? Hold on. Let's do this again. Let me change the color so we can differentiate. Again, 90, 91, sorry. 91 is the high. Ticker is T, sacre bleu. The low is eight. Now let's say you bought at 18. Let's say you bought, uh, let's just say 50, no, what? Guys, I, I don't know. What's a normal number people invest in? Like, what is a normal number? What is a normal number? 10,000, 20,000? Like, I don't, again, I don't know. I don't know what the normal number is anymore. I'm going to be straight. So someone needs to tell me. Because I'll do the math on this. Let's do the math for a normal person. Let's go. Never, even if I wait eight years, exact five years, exactly. Imagine waiting five years to turn $100,000 into $1 million. No one would complain. Diana, I love it. Praise God, I love it. I will wait three. Absolutely not. Sounds like a great investment. I agree, Garcia. Fall, if it fall too much. Better than buying shares. Exactly. It's an investment. Five, no way. Five percent adds up to one point three. Yeah. I will. I have to make it a million by tomorrow. I'm about 90. <laughs> I could call against it. Don't flirt too close to the line. What does that mean? Don't flirt too close to the line, Veronica? I don't know what that means. 10K, 10K, 10K. Yeah, there are a lot of leverage ETFs. Yeah, there are a lot, Goku. Exactly. I'm not going into all of them. I'm not, I'm not, this is not the conversation. The conversation is for me to teach you one, so you're not lost of me talking about 10 different things. 10K, 10K, 100, 1, 5. Okay, 10K is the normal. All right, $10,000. Cool. So let's stick with 10,000. That's the normal amount. Cool. You put in 10K at $18. Oh no, it's falling. It went to eight. You've lost a lot. If you're looking at your account and saying, oh my God, I'm going to cut my losses short. It's an investment. It is not a scalp trade. It is not a trade on a garbage penny stock. It's not a trade on a YOLO call from... What do you, what do the options people call it? Lotto play? It's not a lotto play. This is an investment. So if it goes down, you have to subconsciously and consciously, consciously know it's an investment. It's okay. Because the goal, the goal is to get to this. The goal is to get to that. That is the goal. But what if it never goes there? You're trying to tell me the market's never going to go back again? Come on now. Come on. I literally showed you the chart of the SPY historically. The QQQ historically, it always goes up. Historically, since the fruition of it, it's only gone up. Pullbacks, yes, but it's always gone up. For you to tell me that it's not going to go back up? Come on now. You're watching the wrong person. I, don't, I can't even comment. You're watching the wrong person if you think it's never going to go back up. The market will go back up. Boom. What I would tell you is, there you go, uh, Mr. Jones, I agree. Put it in a brokerage and don't even look at it. Put that money in a brokerage and don't even look at it. Boom. Boom. 
So check this, right? So now let's take it up to another level. Let's take it up to another level. But professor, I don't want to invest in it. I want to swing trade it. I got you right now. Let's go. I got you right now. Here are all the levels, the key levels now. So if we're talking swing trading, I got you. Let's go with what color would be good to see. The white is fine. There you go. Here are all the key levels to buy, sell, whatever, TQQQ, if you want to swing it. Because again, this conversation, again, I talked about investments, but I also sprinkle in some scalping, sprinkle in some swing trading, because I know I, my audience is vast. It's, and it's It covers all the angles of the market. So if you wanted to buy at 22, and then when it gets above 24, buy a little bit more, or, or, if investment wise, you buy a little bit at each level, or if we're talking swing trading, you buy now and then you sell 10% at the next level, 10%, 20%, 15% at each level. That way you always secure profits. Boom. There you go. I'll move out the way. I am out of the way. Here you go. You can screenshot it. You can screenshot it. So these are the levels. If you want to swing trade it or if you want to buy or whatever you want to do with it, there are your levels. I've told you my game plan. I don't think we're out of the waters yet. I think we'll have a little rally and let's see what happens next because we're still, the charts still say we're a downtrend. We had a good day. We had a good day yesterday, good day today, and it's awesome. But we're still not out the woods just yet. My, you know, God willing, praise God, you know, if I could get this bad boy below 18, 9, I'm loading up. Under 10, I'm loading up on this. And I'm going to forget about it. I'm just not even going to think about it. I'll set an alert. I'll talk about it now. It's too late now. I've mentioned it, so I know people will bring it up. Just like they bring up Matic. Just like they bring up Ethereum, Bitcoin. They're going to bring it up now that I've officially, publicly spoke about my, uh, how much I like TQQQ. There you go. You can't go wrong with the stock at this price. You can't go wrong. It's not a garbage one. It's not going anywhere. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. You're welcome, Lizette. You're welcome, Sal. So now, any ask now you can ask questions. Go, ask questions. Go. What question? Again, keep the questions on what I taught. Please don't go off on a tangent. All right, I'll wait for the questions. Let me read. A, let me read something out of my book. Let's see. What can I read? Ooh. The forty most common mistakes traders encounter. Learn from your mistakes. If not, you will live a life of suffering. Shout out to Buddha for that one. Thinking that the stock can't go any lower after it breaks the support line. Swing trading a scalp trade. How many of us are guilty of that? Buying a massive position without testing out a scalping strategy. Yo, I'm excited to do the audiobook, man. And then go, I love, you know, how many of you went to Iceland, by the way? How many of you went to Iceland? I love the saunas, the geothermal pools. I had a great time. I saw the Aurora Borealis. I was up to like four in the morning like this in a geothermal pool looking for the green line. You know what it looks like? I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like a dragon. That's what the green, it looks like a dragon in the sky, but green. Boom. Boom. What just happened? Oh. All right, let's see. This is a great stock for to utilize opportunity cost. If you're down on a uh, position, tr uh, take what's left and put it in TQQ. You know what, Sal? I'm going to do a live on that next week. I'm going to do a live on that next week. Oh, by the way, Friday, I'm not done with the lesson. I'm just saying Friday is the, uh, what is it? Entry and exit show? Friday is the entry and exit show. I will, we can still do it on Zoom. We'll be on Zoom and it'll only be mentorship students. So mentorship students, I need two of you to come on. We can actually do 10, but that's too many. But boom. All right. First, 
to learn as a beginner investor? St uh, Steven, go to the link in my bio down below, uh, daytradeprofessor.com, and go watch my free course. Don't pay me a cent. Watch my free course, then read my book, and then sign up for the mentorship. Go down that line, but don't pay me anything. Don't pay me a cent. I want you to learn and see if I'm the right person for you because I might not be for you. You know? Boom. Have you been to Italy? No, not yet, Sal. Where can I get a physical copy of your book sold out? Um, I tan. It is sold out. It's only available for mentorship students right now. Only mentorship students can get the pre-order for the physical book. For everybody else, it comes out for December. December. The entry and exit show is straight fire. Thank you, son. Julian, you're welcome. Goku, question of the day. Are we going to get a boom at the end of the audiobook with echoes? <laughs> I don't think so. Because the audiobook has to follow what the book says. Miss Veronica Abrams, love it. Welcome to the show, Miss Veronica. You're new to the game. I appreciate you. TQQ over three years, plus 47, five years, 100. Baby boy, you see it. You're seeing it. Go do the math. By the way, if you don't like TQQQ, that's fine. Go to someone else. I mean, go other ETF. There's so many to pick from. Go to them. Just Google it. I pick it because I went through so many. I'm like, whoa. This has the most bang for my buck. This can easily turn my 100K that I don't need into a million I don't need. Like, I don't have any major needs. The only thing is the school. My trading provides for my travels, my expenses, my business expenses gets covered by trading. So, boom. <laughs> Funny conversation, actually. Yesterday, my, my friend, he, he's a bank manager. He goes, we need to talk. I'm like, what's up? He goes, where's all this money coming from? <laughs> He, he goes, I'm worried about you. The bank is investigating. I'm like, I have 10 sources of income. He goes, can you prove it? I said, yes. Do you not see what it says when it comes in? He goes, yeah. I'm like, so what is the issue here? He goes, it's coming in too many. I'm like, well, I got 10 sources. So do you not expect over 10 paychecks a month to come in? He goes, we need to have a talk. We have to find some. I'm like, all right, we'll talk later. But you know, the I, I swear to God, talk about problems. Praise God. Talk about world problems. That I, I, the problems I have are not even problems. I swear to God. I need that show. Fry, uh, Renee, pull up. Pull up. Message me on Twitter. Message me. I need two people for Friday. I need two people. And you need to have a Zoom and a good con Oh, Renee, your connection sucks. Love Italy. Professor the truth. Thank you, Goku. Uh, thanks for the DM last Friday before you signed off IG last week. My son is due next week. I love it, baby boy. Too excited to go to sleep now. It's too early to go to sleep. What is it, Veronica? It's like 8 o'clock in Mexico? You're good. Issue is you work too hard. Sal, praise God, but I love it. But I love it. That's why I'm excited to go to uh, Iceland. It's really therapeutic. If you ask me the most therapeutic place to go to, it's Iceland. Are future mentorship students able to go into the mentorship student only Zoom, professor? Are future mentorship students able to get to the mentorship student only Zoom? Halil, you can come in. You can come into those. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can join. Even people, bro, I have people right asking me about the next year one. There's no next year dates yet. The last one is November. The last one is in November. There's a private one I'm doing for Christmas. Live trading five days, but that's only for seminar students. We are straight live trading. Straight. There's no learning. Well, there'll be learning, but it's not like the mentorship. This is straight live trading in New York. Five days straight. Boom. Uh, tap into the radio voice. The radio voice? Okay. I have to be upstairs. Renee Dunn, be upstairs, but tell your kids to go in the basement and no Fortnite. November mentorship still available? Yes, it's, it's an. It is available. Message me on Twitter. Message me on Twitter, mentorship ready. I'll send you the information. For November, we still have seats available. That way, you can also come to the live trading in December. Five days for Christmas in New York? Forget about it. Forget about it. And by the way, you know what? Serious question. To leverage ETFs, reset daily. That's what I've heard. What do you mean reset daily, Goku? I don't know what you mean by reset daily. Every day there's a new price. Like the price either goes up or down. So I don't know what you mean by reset daily. I, I don't know what that means. But um, guys, what do you think? I, mean, I haven't told this to anyone except one person, but I'll say it out loud. I am deciding for the live trading only for mentorship students for Christmas, five days. To have a competition in in-house. Who is the best scalp trader? Me and 19 other of my students. We trade in our laptops the same ticker. No options. No options because they'll win. Whoever has the most percentage wins. And we will record the whole session. 
I have a for, I have a videographer. They get they work. For, I I got a Hollywood production company actually. I just found that out. They're a big Hollywood. Pro- I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Shout out to Haven. But what do you guys think of the idea for Christmas? I'm doing that. It'll be a competition again. Only mentorship. If you're not a mentorship student, you can't come to this Christmas event. You can't come. Straight five days live trading. Who is the best scalp trader? It's not professor against the students. It's trader against trader. I don't want it to seem like it's against me because it's just, and whoever has the biggest um, percentage wins. Whoever has the biggest percentage wins. And what will be the reward? I don't know. I'll get back on IG and I'll figure that out. I don't know what that will be. Love the idea. I'm down for that. What's up, Jose? Hey, professor, new sub. Love your energy, passion. Currently watching your YouTube. Thank you, Mr. Jones. What will be the limit? What will be what the limit will be? Mendoza, what does that mean? Limit for what? The percentage? There's no limit. Unlimited. How many seats? Only 20. You know me, baby boy. Come on. Bro, how many dorm rooms am I building on my school in Puerto Rico? 20. How many people do I allow at the mentorship? 20. Never more than 20. Give you my word. I'm re- I'm in ready. That's great. So Jose, sign up. You know I gave you guys 90% off. Before I open it up, 90% off. You know this. Come on. That's great. Great idea. That sounds like fun. I know. You better win. (laughs) You better win. Listen, some of my traders are killing it in options. Some of my traders, they take what I teach them and they go into options and they kill the game. They make more than me because they send me it. And I'm like, oh shit, you made more than me. What What would the limit be? Christian Mendoza, limit on what, baby boy? That would be fire, a cookie... Yo, 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 whatever they want, I guess. Whatever they want from me, I'll give them. Whoever has the highest percentage. The limit, we will... Oh, Mendoza, that doesn't matter, baby boy. What did I just say? We are looking at percentage. The money doesn't matter. Baby boy, Mendoza, you could trade with 50,000. I could trade with 10,000. If we take the exact same trade, what did I say? It's the percentage. Not that if it's the dollar amount, then whoever has the most wins. We're not doing that. That's not fair. Then it's not fair. Like if you could do options, that's not fair because you will win. It has to be shares. It has to be shares. Found you on IG saving money for your mentorship. I appreciate you. By the way, there's a payment plan. If you can't afford it for November, if you pay with, if you go to, the, if you just DM me and pay through Shopify or PayPal, they have a, they have like, they could, you can spread out the payments. So don't ever let the money make excuse for you not to level up. I'm going to rock that competition. Game on. William, oh, I go down. William, are you coming? Are you William Keys from Texas? Are you my mentorship student? I'm trying to remember your last name, but yeah. He's focused on percentage. Only percentage. I'm in for December. Lester, I know you're coming, but sign up, Lester. Remember, only 20. Don't be upset at me. If you're like, Professor, come on, 21. No, 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 20. I'm telling you right now, only 20. I can't get to it. It's not fair if I allow 50 people. I'm never going to get to all 50. Let's be straight here. I'm never going to get to all 50. Most leverage ETFs reset to their underlying benchmark index on a daily basis to maintain a fixed leverage ratio setting prices known as the constant leverage trap. Okay. Never heard of that, baby boy. Professor, what would you say your average accuracy rate is? In other words, how many days do you go green versus red? So it depends, Will. It varies. It's never the same. It's never the same. So it depends. Ever since I started shorting on Fridays, that was the game changer for me. Shorting on Fridays. Boom. Bullish in the bear market. Interesting. Not trying to be negative, Professor. You're the expert, but I want I want to understand. Baby boy, I just invest in scalping. I've never seen that happen where the, it resets, where the money resets. I've never seen that. So boom. Yeah, and it's not about negative. Uh, baby boy, I don't know everything. Ask me an options question. I'm going to be like, I don't know. Yeah, I'll be there. All right, cool. That is the one. All right, flight is booked already. I love it, William. I'll see you. I know you booked already. I saw your, yeah, I got you. You're coming with your sons. All right, guys, any other questions? I'm, I'm going to end the live, but any other questions? I'm done with the lesson. TQQ, leverage ETF. I like it. Understand the key question, how much are you willing to lose is the question you need to remember. When you're investing, how much are you willing to lose? And this is why I like the TQQ. This is why I like the TQQ. If you don't have any final thoughts, I appreciate you guys so much. Link uh, daytradeprofessor.com. DM me on Twitter if you need anything. Um, Link in the bio for the book. Link in the bio for the free uh, course. Again, do not sign up for any of my stuff. Don't buy my book. 
Don't sign up for the mentorship unless you watch my free course, go through my videos and see if I'm the right fit for you. Because everyone teaches differently. Like that guy who came on and started promoting his mentor, maybe he teaches better differently too. Do you see what I'm trying to say here? You need to find what works for you. I'm maybe not for you. Remember that. All right, that's a wrap for me. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate it. I love it. I love it. Look at the balance there. We have 115 people watching, 115 likes. That's, a, that's, that's equilibrium right there. I like that. All right, thank you guys. May peace be upon you all. See you all on Friday. Entries and exits show. Um, mentorship students, I will drop the link to the Zoom to um, Antonio. He'll drop it in the Path to Consistency group chat. And then I just need two people to hop on. So please let me know who's coming on so I can be ready for you. All right, that's a wrap for me. Thank you, guys. Uh, enjoy. Go check out your levels on TQQQ. Go make them. Go look at the spy. Go look at all of this stuff. So boom. All right, I'm out. Appreciate you all. See you Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, right here. Follow the Twitter, Day Trade Prof, P-R-O-F, only one F, to get updates on when I'm live and a whole bunch of other stuff. Boom. I'll be here active until I'm back next month. Boom. Bye, everyone. We out. We out.